Hello my dear children we are all back into the english classes after a week all of you are welcome to this class let's discuss the ninth chapter first the name of the chapter is the elephants and the moon you see an animal in the picture now that is an elephant and you can see the picture of a moon what is a moon we see moon at night isn't it so this chapter is about elephants and moon shall we start the chapter there was no rain one year so the water in lakes and ponds dried up all the animals found it difficult to get water a herd of elephants began to search for water finally they found a pool they were very happy listen there was no rain one year we get water from the rain now there was no rain one year and so there was no water so the water in lakes and ponds L A K E S lakes and P O N D S ponds lakes and ponds lakes and ponds are large bodies of water there is so much of water in lakes and ponds but since there was no rain that year all lakes and ponds dried that means there was no water in every lake and pond do you get me all the animals found it difficult to get water D I F F I C U L T difficult difficult means very impossible so it was very difficult or it was very impossible for animals to get water because there was no water there was no rain and so the water in lakes and ponds dried up so there was no water for animals and birds so all of them found it difficult to get water a herd of elephants began to search for water h e r d herd herd means group of elephants a herd of elephants means a group of elephants a herd of elephants began to search for water s e a r c h search a herd of elephants began to search for water there was a group of elephants or a herd of elephants and for water they started searching finally f i n a L L Y. Finally, finally means at last. At last, they found a pool. P O O L. Pool. At last, they found a pool. They were very happy. So there was a herd of elephants, or there was a group of elephants. They were searching for water, and at last, they found a pool. And the herd of elephants became very happy. Let's continue. A colony of hares lived near the pool. Whenever the elephants came to the pool. they trampled upon the hares that came in the way many hares died every day the hares were sad they held a meeting to decide what to do an old hare came up with a plan he said that he would make the elephants stop using the pool listen there was a colony of hares c o l o n y colony colony means group hares h a r e s hares Hares means rabbit. Hares are shown in the picture. In the picture, you can see rabbits, and rabbits are called hares. A colony of hares means a group of hares. A herd of elephants, like that, a colony of hares. So, a colony of hares lived near the pool. Whenever the elephants came to the pool, they trampled upon the hares. That means the elephants kicked the hares with their leg. Trampled. T R A M P L E D trampled. The elephants trampled upon the hares whenever they came to the pool. So many hares died. Why? Elephant is very big, no? But hares are very small. So these elephants trampled upon the hares, and many hares died every day. And it was very difficult. It was very sad for the hares. So what did they do? The hares were sad. they held a meeting m e e t i n g meeting they held a meeting to decide what to do all the hares assembled or all the hares grouped together to discuss what to do and what happened an old hare came up with a plan there was an old hare with them you can see in the picture an old hare there is a hare with spectacles that is the old hare an old hare came with a plan and what was the plan he said that he would make the elephants stop using the pool 
listen the old hare is planning something and he is planning to stop the elephants because these elephants are killing the hares now so the old hare is planning something let's see what he planned the next day he saw the elephants coming towards the pole he said in a loud voice i have a message from the moon the moon says that this is helpful the hares who are suffering are her children listen what did the old hare say the next day the old hare saw the elephants coming towards the pole t o w a r d s yes, towards towards means coming to the pole so the elephants were coming to the pole in the next day and the old hare saw that he said in a loud voice l o u d v o i c e loud voice loud voice means big sound the old hare said in a big sound to the elephants what did he say i have a message from the moon m e s s a g e message the old hare said that he has a message from the moon m o o n moon moon means the satellite of the earth that we see at night so the old hare said that he has a message from the moon and what was the message the message was that pool was the pool of moon and the hares who are suffering s u f f e r i n g suffering suffering means getting pain these elephants are trampling the hares no so the hares are getting pain they are suffering the hares who are suffering are her children so what did the old hare say the old hare said that elephants this pool is the pool of the moon and we are the children of moon so don't use the pool that is what the old hare said let's see what happened then let's continue we have never heard of this said the leader of the elephants the hare said if you do not believe me come here tonight you will see the moon in the pool shaking with anger listen the old hare said to the elephants that the pool was the pool of the moon but the elephants did not believe that why the elephants did not hear of that we have never heard of it said the leader of the elephant l e a d e r leader listen the old hare said that the pool is the pool of the moon the rabbits are the children of the moon so the elephants cannot use the pool that is what the hare meant but the leader of the elephant asked is that so we did not hear about that and what did the old hare say the old hare said if you do not believe me b e l i v e believe believe means to trust in someone if you do not believe me come here tonight t o n i g h t tonight tonight means today night so the old hare said to the elephant that if you don't believe me you can come here today at night and he also said that if you come here at night you can see the moon in the pool shaking with anger shaking with anger s a c k i n g shaking with anger a n g e r anger we get angry you no know? that is anger so the old hare said to the leader of the elephant that if you come here tonight you can see the moon in the pool shaking with anger and let's see what happened then that night the elephant leader went to the pool he saw the reflection of the moon in the water there were ripples in the water so the moon seemed to be shaking the elephant was scared he promised to the hare that they would not come to the pool anymore the hares were safe after that listen that night the elephant leader went to the pool the old hare said to the pool that if you come here tonight you can see the moon in the water shaking with anger no so at that night the elephant leader went to the pool and what did he see he saw the reflection r e f l e c t i o n reflection he saw the reflection of the moon in the water if we go at night and look at the pool we can see the image of moon in the water now that is the reflection so the leader of the elephants saw the reflection of the moon in the water 
there were ripples in the water r i p p l e s ripples ripples means waves in the water there will be waves no there are waves in the water there are waves in the water of the lake and sea they are called ripples there were ripples in the water and so the moon seemed to be shaking s e e m e d seemed to be shaking since there were ripples in the water the reflection of the moon seemed to be shaking that means the moon seemed to be shaking the elephant was scared s c a r e d scared scared means afraid the elephant was afraid to see that because the elephant saw that the reflection of the moon is shaking that means the moon is shaking with anger so the elephant got scared and what happened the elephant leader promised p r o m i s e d promised the elephant leader promised or the elephant leader said to the hare that they won't come any more to the pool to drink water why the elephant got scared he got scared and he thought that the pool is the pool of the moon so he promised that they won't come any more to the pool and what happened the hares were safe after that look at the picture the hares are very happy isn't it why because they are safe the elephants will not come any more and since the elephants won't come any more the hares are safe and they are very happy now let's study some words d i f f i c u l t difficult difficult means very hard h e r d herd head means group head of elephants means group of elephants s e a r c h search to search means to find f i n a l l y finally finally means at last c o l o n y colony colony means group colony of hares means group of hares and what is a hare h a r e hare hare means rabbit t r a m p l e d trampled trampled means to kick something with our leg m e e t i n g meeting meeting means meeting together m o o n moon s u f f e r i n g suffering suffering means getting pain b e l i e v e believe t o n i g h t tonight tonight means today night a n g e r anger s h a k i n g shaking r e f l e c t i o n reflection r i p p l e s ripples s c a r e d scared scared means feared p r o m i s e promise s a f e safe now let's discuss the sixth chapter of our grammar book verbs last year we studied that words such as walk run jump laugh cry and fly tell us about an action they are action words they tell us what someone is doing we call these doing or action words verbs so what are verbs verbs are action words any action word is a verb we do many things no we do many actions whatever we do is an action and whatever is an action is a verb so a verb is an action let us see some examples for verbs draw is a verb laugh is also a verb swim is another verb dance paint play all these are verbs we walk we run we read we cut all these are verbs brushing polishing flying jumping running skipping all these words are verbs so what are verbs verb is an action any action we do is a verb if we do something that is a verb so anything we do is a verb now let's go to the 7th chapter of our grammar book adjectives what are adjectives let us recall words that describe a noun or pronoun are called describing words or adjectives 
adjectives are words which tell us what kind of how many of what color etc places animals persons or things are listen what is an adjective in the last year we studied that adjective is a word explaining a noun or a pronoun what are nouns nouns are names no jidin is a name laptop is a name book is a name so what are adjectives if there is something with these names those are adjectives so adjectives are describing the nouns nouns are there but if there are some other words describing those nouns then they are called adjectives let us see some examples tall man man is a noun tall man tall is an adjective do you get me the man is tall man is a noun and tall is an adjective two cups the word cups is a noun two cups so how many cups are there two cups are there so two is an adjective cold water water is a noun cold water the water is cold so cold is an adjective red shirt shirt is a noun what is the color of the shirt red red is the color of the shirt so red is an adjective so there are nouns but if there is something with that noun then they are called adjectives usually adjectives are placed in front of the nouns now let's understand something new sometimes we place the adjectives after the verb is or are for example the cow is white listen cow is a noun white which is written in blue color is an adjective the boy is tall the boy is noun tall is an adjective the mangoes are sweet the mangoes it is a noun sweet it is an adjective the vegetables are fresh vegetables is a noun but fresh is an adjective do you get me so what is an adjective any describing word is an adjective there will be a noun but if there is something describing that noun that word is an adjective so any describing word is an adjective let's see some examples for adjectives white hen there is a hen with white color hen is a noun white is an adjective thick book there is a book which is thick book is a noun thick is an adjective blue pen pen is a noun the color of the pen is blue blue is an adjective small jug jug is a noun the jug is small small is an adjective old rabbit rabbit is a noun the rabbit is old old is an adjective hot coffee coffee is a noun but hot is an adjective cold coffee coffee is again a noun the coffee is cold cold is an adjective strong boy boy is a noun strong is an adjective the boy is strong and strong is an adjective new shirt shirt is a noun shirt is new new is an adjective blue sky sky is a noun sky is blue in color blue is an adjective busy town town is a noun town is busy so busy is an adjective round face face is a noun the face is round in shape so round is an adjective so what is an adjective any description is an adjective there will be a noun or pronoun and there will be a word which says about that noun or pronoun that word which says about or that word which describes is called an adjective with this let's wind up the chapter all of you go through the chapter very well watch the video very well read it and try to understand all of you take care stay home stay safe we can see in the next class bye